Hello, I'm Siad, a security cloud engineer from the AWS office in Cape Town, South Africa. Today I'm going to show you how to retrieve the number of configuration items recorded per month by AWS Config to help you understand your AWS Config bill better. Let's get started. Log in to the AWS Management Console and open the AWS Config Console. Choose Settings from the left navigation pane. First, let's verify that your Amazon Simple Storage Service Bucket contains the configuration files delivered by AWS Config. Note the Amazon S3 bucket name listed here. Now open the Amazon S3 console and navigate to your bucket. Check to confirm that the bucket contains the configuration files. Next, let's create a table in Amazon Athena to query the configuration item data. Open the Athena console and follow the instructions found in the Knowledge Center article to create a new table using the query editor and subsequently run the queries. Use the following create table statement and replace the placeholder values for your specific S3 bucket name, account ID, and AWS region. Note that if you are using Athena Engine version 2 and have a large number of resources, the configuration data files might exceed the 100 megabyte line length limit. If this is your situation, use the alternative gray table statement instead to partition the table by year, month and day. After the table is created, we can run the queries to analyze the configuration item data. To get the number of changes per day for a given month, run this query. This query will output the date and number of changes for each day. To get the most frequently changed resources, which is a best practice when you investigate these issues, run this query. The query will output the resource type, ID, change count sorted by most frequently changed. To investigate the reason why a specific resource generates a high number of configuration items, you can search for the resource under the resource inventory section in the AWS console. Choose the resources section in the left navigation pane. Next, search for the specific resource using its resource ID or ARN and select the resource. You can then choose the resource timeline button to show all the configuration changes that occurred for the resource for the last 90 days. You can open any of the configuration items and see the JSON, which will show you exactly what change occurred for a specific time. Please note, when you compare the total number of configuration items between the Athena query results and AWS billing data for the same month and region, you might see a small discrepancy. The discrepancy occurs because the data Athena queried can cross their boundaries and include configuration items built in adjacent months. And now you know how to retrieve the number of configuration items recorded per month by AWS Config to help you understand your AWS Config will better. Thank you for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.